Right, so today we're going to try and make a window frame around this. Because, obviously, this sits in to there. The ply board is going to be going on here. So there's going to be about a three inch gap between the actual window frame and the ply board. A lot of people just go in straight and do a straight edge. But, me being different, I want to try and do a window frame that will go around the contour of the window using one of these. Now, the problem we've got with this is that the window is bigger than it, like much bigger. So we can see in the window right there that there's a clear break, which will give us the halfway distance. So my thinking is basically measure halfway, push this little tool in, then that way we've got the curve of one side of the window now I'm going to try and do this in 3 by 2 piece of 3 by 2 down either edge and then obviously the tops are flat so they're kind of easy this should be interesting wish me luck so we need two pieces of 10 inches to go either end like there and like there and just simply two braces, top and bottom. Let's get them cut. Right, so we've marked our curve top, curve bottom. We need to cut this piece out with a jigsaw. My experience with jigsaws with wood this thick is the actual blade starts to bend, but We'll just go nice and slow, take it as easy as we can, and see what we can do with it. It'll either work or it won't work. Them's are the brakes. Right now, to be honest, that looks kind of perfect, but we got to try it up against the window. That'll do for me. Right, so now that fits up against the window, we just need one more for the other side and two cross braces. So, be back when I've made it. Oh, look who's appeared. Right, so, we've got our top pieces, we've got our telephones, like Emma said. We just need to attach them to there like that. Screw it all together. I think we'll use pocket holes. Pocket holes? Pocket holes? No. Star? No, drive. no star drives. Pocket holes. Now, pocket hole jigs are really expensive. They're about 100, 150 pounds. 20 pounds on Amazon. Does the same thing. It makes a pocket for a hole. So, what we're going to do is, going to bash that in there. We're just going to tighten this up. We're going to take our drill bit and we're going to whack it through there, make two nice holes, both sides, both sides of the wood, get it all screwed together, bish bash bong, we're done. Let's go. Pocket holes. Right, so there's the basics of the wooden frame. Now you might go, <laughs> it's all a bit fuzzy up here, it looks a bit dirty and disgusting, it, that wouldn't go in my camper van. Right, there's going to be a sheet of ply over there, we're going to rouse it the inside out. <laughs> what? <laughs> People are going to moan, I wouldn't have that on my van, you can see screws. Well fine, if you don't want to see screws, Flip. turn it the other way. I'll reverse it. It doesn't mean that. Look, it's a crap job. Wait until it's up. Be different then. Bit of time. Right, so now we've got our frame for the windows. Next thing to do is to cut the actual boards that are going to go over the windows. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this round the window. The window? The window. The window. Put this round the window. Then I'm going to push the board up against it. Screw into it. 
then mark this out on the board, cut it out, router it, so this hole will meet perfectly through the front facing board, right to the window, and it'll have a nice edge all the way around it. But first of all, we've got our ply on there, we've got it marked out to the original ply that was in the van, let's cut the shape out. Right, so now we've got it cut out, we're just going to take our router and we're just going to go round the edges just to tidy the, the front facing edge off which is going towards the back of the van. This part here is going to be sitting at the back. We're not going to router the edge which is going to be joining to the next piece because there's no points because you want a nice flush finish. So we're just going to router this side, the wheel arch and that's it. We're going to leave the bottom, that side and the top because we want a flush finish on the top and the bottom and the back that's joined to the next panel. So let's get this routed out and just drop the profile down just a tiny bit just to give it a little bit of an edge. Right, so now we've got our window frame cut out, we've got our board cut out, what we do now is we go inside, we put this over the window, take the board in, push the board up, get that into place, the board will then push up to the actual window and then all we've got to do is drill the board onto the window, take it out, cut a hole and go from there. Right, so we've come to a problem, okay? So the problem is, when the actual frame sits on the edge of the window, which is there, the board that goes up to the panel sits about there. There's about a 10 mil gap between the frame and the board. So what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to frame the frame. So basically, a piece of 10 mil ply, nine mil ply, put it on there, cut it to size, cut the middle out, make it all nice and smooth and then basically do what we were originally going to do but this needs to be 9mm, 10mm thicker for the actual front boards because you don't want the ply to be you know bending in to meet this it's just going to look wrong the ply is going to sit wrong on the actual inside of the van and it's just going to look a bit crap so wasn't expecting that but get thrown lemons and give them to someone else. Right, so after that palaver, we've now got the balls a little bit thicker. Um, got a nice little edge on the inside as well. So. Let's get to fitting it. Right, so once we've got our window frame in, it's just a case of moving some cables out the way. Then what we can do is, we've already brought the panel in that we've cut to go over the fascia. We've put it in, we've retrofitted it, we've made sure it all marks up, angles up, it's all right, it's all fine. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the board up against the window frame, tack it into place with a couple of screws, then pull it out and rouse it out the actual hole for the window frame but screw it onto the actual face board as well so let's get it on and let's get going and there you go that's the window in the place where it should be when it goes back on the wall with the panel as well so we're going to take this outside now rouse it out the inside and then we can fix this properly make it all tidy and then put it back in properly right so basically to router the hole out for the van for the window we're going to be using this which is a quarter inch flush trim bit in the router and basically what it does is there's a tiny little ball bearing wheel at the bottom there now this ball bearing wheel you'll basically level up 
with the side of whatever you want to cut it to. So whatever is above that will then come down to meet this. So we can put it in there, trim the outside out, but keep this on the edge of the inside of the window frame. That way it will give us a clean cut, perfect to the contour of the inside of the window. Loads of people know about routers, loads of people don't. Just thought I'd explain what it is I'm actually using to cut out the window. Yeah, we could draw around and we could cut it out with a jigsaw, but the problem with that is you just don't get a clean cut. It looks, it's all over the place. With the router, it's then gonna look clean. Then what we can do is we can go over with a beveled edge round the outside of the window and it will look sweet. So your little trim bit goes in the end of the router. It just goes in the little socket that's there. There is a, a shank that goes over and it grips it into place. So we just stick it in there, tighten up the nut. And then that router bit is in there. Now we just got to tighten it up properly. Right, so we've got our boards on. We've drilled a hole right in the middle of where the window is. What we're going to do now is we're going to run the router all the way around this and it'll catch the inside edge. So let's put our mask on. Right, so as you can see, it's cut the perfect hole for the window. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around the edge with this one, which will just give this edge a nice curve, which will run straight into the window. Then we can sand it up and get it back into the van. So. Let's change the bit out and go from there. So that is the wooden window frames. I think it looks absolutely lovely. Once we've filled these with some wood filler, we've got whatever we're going to back this on that will just run to this edge here trim it nice and round there we're going to varnish the insides so it all looks neat and tidy but that's the basics of doing the wood window so we've got to get this board in got it screwed in and in place but first of all we need to put some insulation and some reflectors on the wall before we can get this boy in the van So that is the other one all nice and fitted and as you can see that little edge on there just finishes it up lovely. The windows are still open, they're fine. We've got the windows with the fly screen on. You can just take the fly screen off if you want a proper window. But once they're painted up, they are going to look absolutely beautiful. So now yet we are going to be converting this whole Volkswagen Crafter into a self-contained, fully off-grid mobile camper van which we will be going to Europe and Norway and all over wherever we can get it to. But that is the windows, something that you can do with just a little bit of manipulation with some wood. Just take your time, remember, measure 12 times, cut once. Anyway, right, whatever you do, do it well. Go out there, get a van, do something amazing. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>